everybody. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. Thank you so much for clicking on my video and choosing to spend some time with me today. This is going to be so exciting for me because we are starting a brand new binder. I know I hinted to you guys that I had a new binder. I did open it just so there wouldn't be as much glare for the thumbnail, but I made a binder and I cannot wait to show it to you and start it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm filming this video on Tuesday morning. I'm hoping it will go up Wednesday morning, but we'll have to see if the editing can get done in time. I was about to film a puppy video or true crime, whichever one I didn't do last week on camera. I think it was the puppy one, but I just decided I am so, excited for this binder and it's finished and it's just been sitting there. I've been working on binders while I've been um, recovering from surgery. So I cannot wait a second longer to get into this with you guys. So we're just going to get right into it now. I hope everyone is having a good start to their week. I'm going to grab this pouch that I got from Nita and we'll take the money out. I decided for this video today that we would start with $150. And when I say start, I mean, we're doing 150 today, but if it's not enough, next time I stuff it, I'll bring more money. But I definitely want to get every challenge done once today. And I believe there are 11 challenges in here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to count the money and let me get the tray in here so you guys can see. Okay. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25. So 125 and then 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 141, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. I think I have some of the oldest bills in here, but that's okay. They're still worth their value. That's all that matters. So I hope there won't be a glare the whole time, but once I open this up, it should get better. So I have had this challenge for so long and I'm super, super excited to start it with you guys. It is from Brittany at Lou Nova B in Canada. And that's the first one we're gonna do. So. There is a dashboard here, an A5 dashboard, and it says on here that this whole challenge is worth $280, and the cards are, you're gonna scratch one through 10. And I am not a unicorn fan, but all the colors on this and the sloth, and it's Brittany. I just, her stuff is amazing. So we're gonna actually start with this one, and you'll just see each challenge for the first time as I do it. So that should save a little bit of time. So. I don't know if these beautiful cards need to be shuffled or what. I have no idea. I'm just going to do pick one card and I don't know if we'll scratch the whole thing. I want to make sure we have enough money to do every challenge once today. And so I did, I used the calculator and it, I believe it said we have about $13 per challenge. Let me do it again. We have 150 divided by 11 challenges. Yeah. So a little over $13 per challenge. So I don't need this right now, so I'll go ahead and just scratch right here for you guys. And let's see, see what we get. So we got a six, so I'm gonna scratch another one. This scratches so nicely. And I love the way that she did partial scratch off stickers. So we're only at eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this card. I was just watching um, Budget with Carly. I was watching, it was a 40 minute video and I loved every second of it. I loved the Happy Mail. I loved her savings challenges and it just inspired me. As Soon as it was over, I just ran down here and I said, I need to film my new binder because I wanted to do some, I was itching to do some challenges that are not themed to a certain binder. So that way I can support some new people. And sorry, these shavings are bothering me a lot because it's a brand new binder, but anyway. Okay, and of course I scratched the nine last, but that's fine. So we have nine plus two is 11 plus six is 17. So 10, 
15, 16, and 17. So that will give this challenge a good start. And I'll put these cards in. I think I've showed you this before, you guys. But I have a little canvas thing with my sticky notes, my IOU cards. Oh, my dog. I haven't. Okay. I have some random stuff in here. I need to put those back in a... I borrowed the uh, little thing it was in. But I should have some other stuff in here, too. But... Anyway, and this is the spoon from Erica over at Erica Budgets that says, good morning, bestie. So I have some random stuff in there, but I'll put that there. And we have finished our first card. So I'm going to put the card to the side and I'm just going to put the money in here behind the dashboard. And that's why I made sure I had 25 $1 bills today since we were starting new challenges and I know we can't make change. So we'll go to the next one. The next one is from Erica Budgets. And I am her creeper and I bought the sticker for her and it, they gave me a second one for free. So I got two. So I thought that would be appropriate to make an Erica envelope with that. I have three challenges in here from her, but for sake of time, I'm just going to sake of time. I swear I didn't even do that on purpose. Okay. I'm only going to start do one at a time and show you one at a time. So I don't remember if I bought this or I or she gifted it to me because she's so generous with me, but it, I think it's beautiful. I love the colors. It says spring forward. All the numbers, it says, sorry, I need to hold it closer. Add the numbers up for the clocks. So I feel like this is like an extra savings down here. So I don't know if it's decoration or extra, but I thought we could use a three-sided die because it just has numbers one, two, and three. So but today we're just going to scratch and then next week maybe we'll do some down there. So I'm going to scratch one. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Erica has a tendency to scare me with big numbers. And at first, because of the shavings, I thought this said 45 and I was like, no way. But, um, this just says this, I believe this just says 15. Okay. So I'm wondering if, there are pictures of clocks under some of these, and that's why she say add the numbers up for the clocks. I don't really know. She can be mysterious, and I kind of like it. So all I know is this says 15. That is plenty for one challenge. So we're just going to stop there today. But this will be this will be kind of fun doing her challenges. So I want to put this back in the front because it's so pretty. I love the colors. And... I do have three challenges in here. I think it'll be easier if I just put the money in the very back. So, all right. So, and everyone will be linked below in the description box as usual. That is one thing I am pretty OCD about because I want, if you're interested in someone's challenge, I want you to be able to easily find their shop and their channel if they have one. So I'll have to mess with this later. Okay. So now we're going to move on. The next challenge I have is from the Faithful Dash. And I believe this is Candy's sister, Candy from Stuff and Budget, who I know and love. So I believe they're sisters and her sister has the channel and shop, The Faithful Dash. So this is the Fruit of the Spirit Savings Challenge from Galatians and the Bible. And it has all of the love, peace, kindness, gentleness, self-control, faithfulness, joy, patience, goodness. And I thought it was so cute and colorful with the bowl of fruit. So we are going to roll for this challenge. And I put that we're going to roll a D12. So I thought that would be fun. So let me get the 12-sided die. And I'm just going to roll it onto here. Wow, we got the 12. We are getting the high numbers for all of these today. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so... We are going to start with the 12. I'm just going to write it in one of these apples. And we will add the $12. Like I said before, I've been doing so many themed binders that I am so excited to just have a catch-all binder where I can put any type of challenge I want that I like. And I'm so excited about it. So we'll put this away, but that will give it a good start with $12. And we will keep moving right along. So this next one is from Ellie at Ellie on Earth. And you guys know I have been way behind on videos because of my neck surgery. But this is something that everyone did in March. And it was supposed to be something where 
like a game, a group play where everyone did it on their channel at the same time. And I am just going to start it now. And so it's maybe you guys have already seen this on other channels, but I say better late than never. I'm so thankful she included me. And Ellie, I am, if you're watching, I am sorry that I'm starting it so late, but I don't want to just not do it because it's not in March because we're in April. We're at the end of April and it's so cute. It's so nice of Ellie. She's always sending me all kinds of stuff, especially when I, I'll order one, one or two things and I'll get like 10 in the mail. She is so awesome. I love all her stuff. So we're just going to scratch one. And I know this sounds kind of silly, but since some of the other challenges we put more into, I'm just going to scratch one for now. We can always come back, but that's a two. So let's put two in here and we'll see what happens at the end of the video. But I want to play it safe for now. Oh, I also was going to show you on the flip side. She is so sweet. She sent this to me. Happy Mother's Day to Lizzie. And my name's printed right on there. Um, this is her Earth freebie. I And then I kept that group play direction little note because it has her handwriting on the back. And she's always writing sweet notes and things. So I save everything from her. So... All right, well, that will get us started, and now we're going to move on to um, Emily Rose Loves Budgets, and I have not written their names on the back or anything because I just know who all these people are, so we're going to do, this is a Grey's Anatomy um, savings challenge, so I did put a sticker on there, and there are two, I believe it was a, it was a three-pack of printables, but I cho I'm choosing just to do two. So I thought we would roll the 20-sided die for this one because then, you know, we can spice things up if we get a bigger number. So we're going to go ahead and start this now. And I think I do want to color in the hearts. So let's go ahead and roll, though, and see what we get. We got a five, so that is not too scary. So I think instead of writing the number, I'm just going to color in a heart to show that we've done a roll. So let me color in this first heart and then I'll be right back. When I had done my true crime binder at the, my first true crime binder, I did some challenges that Emily Rose Loves Budgets had gifted to me. So you guys have probably heard of her, but she has an awesome Etsy shop and channel. So we're just going to add five and start this off with five. And I did write D20 on there, so I will remember for next time. And we will move along. All right, so this next challenge is from my sweet friend, Kimmy. Her channel is Bayesian Girl Budgets on... Wait, what's... Oh, okay. So this is... She gave me a dashboard, but I kind of wanted this to be the dashboard because it's so pretty. So I put it in there. So when you flip over, you can see what it is. But anyway, um, Kimmy's shop is Kimmy's Budgets. She is the one that I got all of the, I purchased all of my, um, actually they're right here. She gifted this to me and I bought all of my prop money from. So she has a wonderful chop, shop, I think I said chop, shop. Please go check it out. And you guys, she sent me this in Happy Mail. I didn't even buy this. I didn't realize until right now that there are all these little scratches. I never realized that before. My eyes just went to these. So I thought it was just five scratches. So I thought, well, $110 divided by five scratches, that's going to be a big number. And now I'm realizing it's not because there are all these other little ones. So I don't know why my eyes miss those, but <laughs> I also have a lot of other challenges I got from Kimmy that... Um, you'll see when I do certain themed binders. So, but she is such a sweetheart and we're going to start with just five. So that is fine with me. Okay. So let me put a five in here and I guess I didn't realize you won't be able to see the dashboard if I put the money behind, but that's okay. So moving along now we have I believe it's called Shroom Shroom from Liz over at Liz and Less. And I thought this was so cute. I Oh, I did put her sticker on the back. And I have no idea what number we should choose. I should have put this as like the last challenge, but that's okay. So 
Here are the numbers. I can decide what we're going to do today. I say let's just go for a big number. So if it's on this edge, I want it facing that direction because that's how I am. So let's do this one right here. So on this one, you can you can pick which car you want and put it on any number. But I believe this one is, I'll put it close to the edge because I don't know if we're going to run out of room or not. But um, this should be a $50 challenge. And I didn't buy it soon enough. And she ran out, but then she brought it back. And the second she brought it back, I purchased it right away because I didn't want to miss out this time. But, oh, my goodness, I think it's adorable. All of Liz's challenges are. Okay, so now we're going to move on. This next one I fell in love with. It is from Lindsay at Boy Mom Loves to Save. It says, shopping is the only sport I need. And I'm sure Matt wishes it was not a sport that I enjoyed, but it is. <laughs> and... This challenge is so cute. So we're gonna start off this one and I'm just gonna scratch at the bottom, see what happens. Okay, so we got an eight. That is a good number. And so some of these might, challenges might take us a while because I may only scratch one at a time, but I don't have more than $150 to put toward it at this time, meaning I can't do this, I don't just have a, like $200 to put toward it like I do the other ones. So right now we're just going to bring this out when I can now that we don't have the mini the other mini binders anymore where we were putting 50 in at a time. We had two of those, so I thought we just have one binder and when I can scrounge up an extra 150, we'll put it in here. So all right, $8. So 5 6 7 8 and I love that it's mint green under there. Oh, and I want to make sure I show you on the next challenge that I know it's kind of hard with these clear things because you see through to the back, but look at this cute little sticker. It's an axolotl and it says read a lotl. I love the sticker so much and it goes perfectly with Carly's challenge, budget with Carly, and I love it how it's say 55 and then there's a roll the dice. So We'll probably do both, but for now, we're going to start with this one, and I know I said I just finished watching her video. The video I watched today, I think it was not her latest video, but it was a 40-minute video with Happy Mail and Savings Challenges, and you guys should watch it because there may or may not be a giveaway in there, so you don't want to miss it. So, once again, I say we just do the highest number, so let's go with the 10. It kind of scares me, but... I did kind of pre-pick these colors to match the colors Carly used for the books. So I'm thinking, let's just do the 10 today. Yeah, let's do the 10. I'm gonna use the teal. And I thought maybe we'd do the binding a different color just to be more like Madeline and like mix up the colors and make it look gorgeous. So let me color in the 10 and I'll be right back. Okay, Madeline, you'll have to let me know if you approve of my coloring, but I'm going to set these aside for next time. We do this binder. And let's make sure we don't forget to put the 10 in. So while I'm putting this away, I just wanted to tell you guys, um, my son, Max, made it to Spain. So he's on his spring break from school. He's, in case you don't know, he is a... Let's see, he's a junior, but he's one of the older juniors because he has an October birthday. So anyway... Him and I believe about five or six other students are in Spain with a high school Spanish teacher. It's such an incredible opportunity. I think in my last video, I showed you some pictures. Um, he does not want me posting on social media or in my videos any pictures with him in it. So I respect that. And so I can't show you pictures of him in Spain. Maybe he'll let me do a group picture at some point. But I just wanted to say he's having a great time. And he sent me a message yesterday and told me that he was homesick. He arrived or he left Friday morning. And let's see, yesterday was Monday. So I was surprised he was homesick so soon or at all. But I did say to him and via text, I said, Max, I said, do you miss 
me or do or do you miss home or do you just miss McDonald's and chicken nuggets and stuff like that and he said no 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 I miss home so I thought it was really sweet and I know I shared those texts with a few of my friends but I just so I just wanted to give you all an update later yesterday he said mom I'm not homesick anymore he said I met this boy Pedro and so there's Max um there's another kid, another male who went on the trip. So there was Max and only one other guy. And so they really needed Max to go because they let them go off wherever they want in pairs. So um, they needed another boy to pair up with. But um, they met this boy, Pedro, in the school because they're going to school in Spain every day, every weekday. And Pedro speaks a ton of English. So they were having a blast getting to know him. He invited the boys over for dinner. And then the whole group went out on a hike later. So the school, I believe, is hiking um, and going on some of the, you know, extracurricular activities with Max and his buddies who went to Spain. So that way they're all like spending time together. So anyway, Max was so, so happy. And, you know, it made my mama's heart happy. So, okay, that's the only little story I'm going to say. Okay, so this next challenge is from our girl Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. I believe that's, I don't know why I second guess myself, but so if you can see the sticker, when I was growing up, I am not a Disney fan and neither are my kids, but I was obsessed with um, Beauty and the Beast and I can like sing every song by heart and like, you know, the first few minutes of the movie when they're talking in between singing. If you can too, tell me in the comments, I'm not the only one. And then The Little Mermaid is my other huge favorite movie. So I saw this challenge from Champagne and I thought it was so cute. And then I found a matching sticker that was holographic. So I bought this a while ago. Matt has now told me that I, I need to stop buying stickers because it'll save me a lot of money. But I just thought this was perfect. So I've been waiting for the opportunity to use this. And I love supporting champagne. So let's go ahead and let's see. I'm trying to see if I can... I don't know if there's less of a glare depending on where I scratch it. Okay, I'll stop obsessing. Okay, let's go ahead and it says it's a save 50. So the number shouldn't be too big because there's a fairly decent amount of them, but okay, maybe I picked the highest one. Okay. <laughs> All right, so 11. So we'll go ahead and start this off with 11. That's my last 10. And... I'm excited to be doing this challenge. So we only have one or two left. And so this next one is from Oma Crafts and Budgets. And I'm going to go ahead. It had shoes on it. And I had a shoe sticker, so I had to put it in there. But I also bought another one that I thought was really cute. So I'll show them both to you. Um, I love these both. So we're going to start, though, with just one. I, I don't want to have too much going on. I want to make sure we have enough enough money to put money in every challenge every week. So this is another one that is a Bible verse and it's Proverbs 3, 6. And it says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And it's a save 40 numbers, one through denominations, one through nine. I'll just talk to you while I scratch it. I don't know how this is going to come across to you guys because of glare, but the colors are beautiful and vibrant to me and it's gorgeous. And I love challenges with sneakers. I don't know why, but also when I was growing up, I went Went to a private Christian school that was connected to our church and I went from grade from kindergarten to fifth through fifth grade and then when I was in sixth grade that's when we moved to New Hampshire and my dad um, started a church in our living room and let's see I think I'm gonna scratch one more I think I have enough to do that so anyway um in front of the school like it sorry in the the little auditorium, there was a big banner and that was our school's um, theme verse. So it's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So anyway, when I saw this challenge, I loved everything about it, including the nostalgia. So any, I might have said this, is it nostalgia, nostalgia? I might have said it wrong. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> okay, so, and then of course I do a 9, but that's fine. Okay, so we are going to put 11 into this today. So 10, 11 and maybe we should start the other one I don't know but okay we still have another challenge left and my idea was I thought when I got to this point I would be out of money and so for this challenge instead of rolling 
I actually have a few things in here. Let me show you. Um, I got this from one of my very sweet friends, Dawn, over at the craft bin. She actually just sent me a bunch of happy mail. I cannot wait to show you guys and use it. But this was a like a three-pack printable on her shop, and I loved it, and I bought it. And um, I'm just I thought I would go ahead and use this as a catch-all at the end because I thought right now I'd only have a few dollars left. But I have way more money than I thought right now. So now I'm not sure what to do. I also have this on deck. This is not, it's in the same envelope, but it is not from Dawn. It's from Life with Bobby. And I just love the the Miss and Mr. Little People. And my kids growing up, they love those books. And we had a bunch of them and I read it to them. So it just brings back nice memories. And I love the vibrant colors on that. So I thought I would keep that in the back because it's kind of like a bright, nice cover. Anyway. But now that I have a lot more money than I thought, I'm not sure what to do. Now I wished I had scratched more and everything because I don't want to go back and make this video twice as long as it is now. I know it's already long. So you know what? Let's see. But we will come back to this because I did want to do this at the end. I had this cute sloth sticker already. Let's go to, let's go do another one on, um, another one of these cards. So let me just grab them and we'll see what we can do on this. So I wanted this video to be short for those of you who like short videos, but um, I didn't realize how far that money would spread. So let's see. Okay, so we have five plus four. So that's nine and then Nine plus nine is 18. Okay. All right. So five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we'll add that to what we already had. And now for the sloth we have a total of 10, 15, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 35 for day one, that's pretty good. And I think I will continue and go to Erica's right here because I have three challenges in here from her. So we have plenty we'll be able to do to support her. So let's scratch another one. I'm going to see if we get a clock this time. Okay, so we did get a clock. Oh, this is neat. I love this challenge. Okay. And I love it that it's laminated so it can be reused and it scratches so nicely that way. Okay. So the, it says 535. So we're supposed to add the digits. So five and five is 10 plus three is 13. So five, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. And let's see. So now we have 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 25. Okay. And I think I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and switch it out with a 5. And since we only gave 2 to Ellie, let's go back to that. Oh, that's right. This is so pretty on the back. It's gorgeous. So we will add it to here. $40. That's awesome. I didn't want to bring out any of my other challenges like my duck challenge because I wanted to, oops, this was, okay, let's do this one first. Then we'll do Ellie's. Um, because I really wanted to put all the money into this binder since I'm not sure how often we'll be able to do it. So, oh no, wait a second. Oh, you guys, <laughs> these clear envelopes tripped me up. I think I just took the tw Wow. Okay. Some of you guys know what I just did. Okay. So hold on. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I messed up here. So Erica should have 15 plus 15, 28. So 10, 25, six, seven, eight. And then this is the 12 from that challenge. Okay. So I totally messed up. I was thinking this is going to be so easy. There's no way I'll mess up. It's a new binder. It's nice and easy, but leave it, leave it to me to find a way to mess this up. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that back. And then this had 12. Where did this come from? Oh my goodness, you guys. I don't even know what's going on anymore. 
Here we go. Okay, it came from here. Okay. I'm going to put that there and bring the die here. And yes, it's still the 12-sided die. So let's roll this again. And I only got a one. So I'm going to write a one on here. And let's roll it one more time. Okay, that is a 12. So we owe it 13. I'm going to write another 12 in here. And then we owe this challenge 13. So 5, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And I'm not going to count it because I don't want this video to be long. I had wanted it to be short for Matt's sake, for editing, and for you guys. So we will just put that back in there. I had this sticker. I had this sticker. It was so fun going through the stickers I've had that you guys have sent me as freebies and using what I had on hand. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten dollars left. So I want to scratch one more on Ellie's and then we'll put the rest in Dawn's challenge in the back. So, okay. So now we get an eight. All right. So five, six, seven, and eight is going in here. Okay. So now we have two, we only have $2 left over, but that's okay. And so we are going to flip right to the back and get Dawn's challenge out this top one. And we are gonna, we have $2 left. So we're just gonna write, actually, I'd rather use a purple marker for this. Let me grab a purple and I'm gonna put two. So there we go. We have now spent all of our money and I love the idea of just having a catch-all in the back. And I will throw this money right behind there. And then when I close it, you can see Bobby's beautiful challenge. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me if you like, oops, what is going on? <laughs> Let me know if you enjoy this video, if you like my new challenges. And I hope you guys had as much fun. I'll have to clean this up later, but I hope you guys had as much as fun as I did. I hope everyone's doing well. And I've been really trying to catch up on comments. I am now... Have I have a few ones that have questions or that are going to take a longer response, so I skipped over those, but I'm pretty much up to four months ago, so I'm doing good. I think I need to go back six months, but before I open my shop back up, I want to have every comment answered or hearted. So anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I truly appreciate you all, and I will hopefully see you again very soon. Bye!